What's good, Splash Squad? It's your boy, KQuinn66. I am doing something slightly different today. We are going to uh, get into League vs. League play, as always, with a bit of a twist. Um, I decided, I haven't been played by the AI yet, but I decided what I want to do is try to autoplay all three drives. I know that might sound kind of crazy, um, but it seems like it's going to be really interesting. I want to see what happens. So we're going to jump right into it. We're going to play up this dude here. Let's see what his lineups are looking like. All right, Russ, Clay, Hayward, Thompson, and Towns. Let's take this one on. We're going to go big man first. I'm going to take them on. You know what? I should probably go with my highest overall lineups, period. Um... But I, I'm really I'm interested to see what happens. I'm going to use big man for sure because I still need those defensive rebounds. Uh, I think I'm going to use small ball, get that double buzzer beater. I know I'll get something in there for sure. And the question is, do I want to go? You know what? I think I am going to go defensive and see what that triple-double Russell Westbrook can do. Because um, it seems like he's going to be pretty dirty although I do have two way I've got Chris Stapps in there I've got clutch port the clutch Kevin Durant it's a tough call honestly um, but let's go you know what Nick Van Exel has some dirty AI let's go let's go with this two way I'm gonna try to uh, I think I'm gonna win the tip offs I think that's all I'm gonna do I'm gonna take that tip off and then go right into autoplay and just do commentary and watch and see what happens so you guys are going to be as surprised as I am with what goes down. Nick Van Exel, he takes it right to the rack though. I'm going to I'm going to laugh so hard and I'm going to be so sad if my autoplay gets better margins than I do. Um, <laughs> I know that I talk and play at the same time and that that hurts my scores. Uh, but still if this is ridiculous though. I don't think that's going to happen anymore. I mean literally held the ball the entire possession entire 24 second shot clock Van Exel randomly went for steals um, but did not look like he put up too much of a fight and I think in a way shot clock again all the depot for the oh, that was just a deep two but he hits it okay so we got some points on the board right now let's see if uh, they waste their entire shot clock again they're gonna get a charging foul which is good for me it means that my autoplay is going to get the ball back. Let's see what they do. This is really, this is definitely an interesting, interesting way to check out your lineups. And uh, you know what? Not for nothing, I'm going to say it, uh, it takes a, a special kind of person <laughs> to do league versus league play autoplay. Like, that would have never happened. The kick out to Porzingis, you know I would have taken that shot 100 times out of 100. To pass that out to Van Exel and then to fade away for the two, again, that would have been a straightforward jump shot and that would have dropped at least. It would have been 8 nothing right now, if not 9 nothing on that three from Porzingis. So Porzingis lets Tristan Thompson get right into the rack and just put up an easy layup. Um, I don't know that my defense is necessarily incredibly better than that. Durant, I think that well, that looked like it was a two. He got his clutch shot off at least, which I've heard that a lot of the time uh, Kevin Durant does not get his clutch shot off. He just kind of dribbled out of the clutch zone. But they let Russell Westbrook get that clutch three. And you know that they score the clutch three on me a lot, but for the most part, I get a hand in the air as quickly as I can I can anticipate it and I I have you've seen me get a couple of blocks on that so it does happen um, at least I don't have to worry about my margins being beat I would have passed that off to Porzingis in a heartbeat eight to five that's some trash so that's very unfortunate um, but at least we won the quarter so I'll take that I guess it's it's kind of sad because it was a 97 versus a 91 and all we could muster was eight points. But uh, let's go up against this dude, see what he's got. Giannis again, they both had Giannis. I'm gonna take on this Kyrie. Cause I, although I'm not, uh, my autoplay is not doing much defensively, so 
I don't know steel wise if that makes any difference going against the point guard that I prefer to steal from or prefer to try to steal from. Let's see, I'm excited to see what Brogdon does though. It's a new card, um, it was a very very dirty card, you guys saw me use him yesterday, he was unbelievably filthy. He's got that Westbrook with him too, but Westbrook's gonna lose the ball. Gobert, what are you doing? What in the world was that? Even if the shot clock's winding down, he had Brogdon and Westbrook right next to him. One of those could have hit it. That was a bad shot, man. This autoplay. Oh, Brogdon gets a steal though. There we go. That's what I want to see. Finally, he doesn't pass to Westbrook. I don't get that at all. Like I, I know that autoplay is obviously not going to be playing as well as me. Um. I mean, not obviously, I thought that there was a chance that they would be, but you would think that they'd make some good decisions, because <laughs> that was that was a really, really bad decision. Russell Westbrook was wide open for a three-point shot, Brogdon didn't pass it to him, then he cut way before a defender cut, and again, no pass. I don't even understand what's happening with these shots, wow. KD, man. Misses a two-foot layup. Luckily, he gets the offensive rebound and puts it back in. He tips it back up. But over a minute played, and it's only 2 nothing. Kind of sad. All right, all right, all right. We get a block with KD. Not KD, sorry. Kevin Love. I'll take that. That's uh, a good block, good defensive play, finally. Let's see if we can get another stop here. Ooh, big rebound by Kawhi, and he puts that up. Hey, I got an achievement. Look at that. Didn't even do anything. That's nice when that happens. Um, oh, get the ball from Gobert. Pass it to him. Come on. Gobert, move the ball away. Pass the ball. Okay, thank you. All right, Brogdon. There we go. There we go. That was actually a oddly but decently constructed play. I would not ever in my entire existence have Rudy Gobert playing at the top of the three-point line with two defenders and hold the ball for what seemed like an eternity only to pass it off and drive into the lane for the give and go essentially but I mean that's what happened come on hit that oh Kevin love what are you doing okay hit that that better drop I hope I, I don't want to lose this quarter there we go okay six to four. Oh, they still get a shot oh no was that in time there's point two left on the clock that can't be on time even if it drops, there's no okay, it didn't drop, doesn't matter. But yeah, okay, so eight to five, then six to four, fourteen to nine we have. That doesn't make any sense. Eight to five, six to four, fourteen to nine, yeah, that is right. Five points. Oh, I only Uh yeah, I'm, I'm being stupid. I only had uh, I'm trying to figure out the margin and uh, I'm being stupid. Never mind. So yeah, so we have, I'm going to throw this into this set, and let's go into the last one. Uh, which of these guys do I want to play? Let's see what this guy's two ways looking like. Russell Westbrook, Jimmy Butler. Alright, I like that. I can deal with that. Let's go with this, and let's go with our buzzer beater small ball lineup. So we've got Steph and LeBron there. One of them has to be able to get a three-point buzzer beater. That's like, if that doesn't happen, I'm going to flip some chairs or something. Because that should be so easy. Um, I mean, okay, so that... Oh, shit, I didn't even realize it. You know what? I did highest overall earlier, and I completely forgot that I had a Steph Curry as the shooting guard in this lineup. So Clay's back in. I completely forgot. Because I took out Magic, and I put in Steph Curry just for this video. And I just hit highest overall, and I completely, completely forgot. So we have Clay back in at the two, and we've got Stefan at the one, and then uh, Dario Saric is out there too, that 99 Dario Saric. We'll see if he does any better. Ooh, that was a nice spin move. That was a nice move by that Steph Curry. I like that. Uh, not enough, but I like that. That one move so far has been good, but nothing much has been going on. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is probably the only... <laughs> the only a autoplay gameplay that I'm going to do unless you guys really enjoy it let me know in the comments what you guys think of this because if this is a concept that you guys really like I will come back to this you know I'll do this like once a week or something have a little bit of fun with it but it's kind of boring for me so um, I'm not sure 
if that's something you guys want to see or not. It might just be boring for me because I'm just basically holding my phone and watching the game and commentating on it. Um, but I guess you guys aren't playing the gameplay when you watch my videos anyway, so this might be something that you guys enjoy. If it is, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to get more of these up. If it isn't, also let me know in the comments below and I won't do this again. <laughs> But, ah, oh, Steph Curry's going to lose that ball. Oh, wow. They actually got the steal. I thought it was just going to be an out-of-bounds. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. I don't I don't really know what it's going to... It was a really cool idea in my head. Um, I also thought that there was going to be more going on. We're not even going to get that buzzer beater. They couldn't even get the ball. This is so ridiculous. Wow. Okay, he missed the shot at least. So it's a tie, 4-4. Four to four. I expected a lot more high-octane entertainment I figured that it would play similar to how I play at least a little bit considering it's a 97 overall lineup and stuff like that I thought that it would play at a higher volume get some steals so I put up 18 points with my autoplay um, I did that yesterday with Malcolm Brogdon in one lineup basically so this is not for your high-end league versus league scoring don't do this <laughs> <laughs> it's not even like it was 18-0 and I can kind of play it off like it maybe worked. No. We went, what, 8-5, 6-4, and then 4-4. Four four. So that's seven, uh, 18 points, 8-5, 6-4. Yeah, 18 points for me and 13 for the opposition. So we got a 5-point margin, which is not good at all. Um, so that's going to be it for this video. Uh, check out the videos to your left and to your right and uh, click that subscribe button if you like my content and give me a thumbs up if you think that uh, this video is worth it. Don't forget to hit me up on Twitter and on uh, nbalive.gg at kquinn66. Peace!